And one of the things I said to him was, think about getting into music publishing. And then, he, and he looked at me, kind of, I thought he was joking, he said, I'm gonna get yours. Oh, yeah. So, you know, I kind of thought, oh, you. During these collaborations, Michael learned from Paul that you could buy other people's catalogs because Paul purchased Buddy Holly's catalog. So what does Michael turn around and do? He purchases the Beatles catalog. I mean, I don't think Michael Jackson's at fault here. If you have all that money and you're able to buy the Beatles catalog, do it. McCartney felt betrayed when Jackson licensed the Beatles songs for commercial use. McCartney believed that the song should be treated with more reverence and not used for commercial purposes. McCartney made several attempts to regain control of the Beatles catalog, but he was unable to do so during Jackson's lifetime. That, this pretty much effectively ended their friendship and understandably so, I'd be pissed. But I bet Paul really regrets giving him that advice. Music Mayhem, all new Monday, only on Access TV.